Welcome back to GG 5 Minute News. Uh, I know it's been a while. Uh, just remember anything I say in this video, it's satire news for a reason. I'm not being serious, so you know, don't hate me in the comments, don't grieve me. Um, but yeah, let's jump straight into the general news. Okay, so you all know about the solar eclipse, right? So according to Na NASA, every um, US state plus parts of Alaska and Hawaii, which in my opinion is US states, but anyway, will experience at least a partial solar eclipse. So good for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, on to the next one. Oh, I was just about to talk about this, but... Doctors warn that you need to wear very special glasses uh, when looking at the solar eclipse because uh, looking at the sun, even when it's partially covered, like during an eclipse, can cause eye damage. I mean, who would have thought? <laughs> who would have thought looking at the sun will cause eye damage? I mean, okay, okay. I guess this is the US. I'm not looking for trouble, but I guess there, there's a lot of people that might stare at the sun so yes please please uh, wear your special glasses even if you look like a complete idiot uh, <laughs> and obviously i guess you guys have read the uh, solar eclipse conspiracy theories um, there's theories that uh, there will be earthquakes and a super volcano and the San Andreas streak or whatever you call it, there will be a massive earthquake just because of the solar eclipse. So yes, and there's other theories that suggest the um, solar eclipse was caused by the Illuminati. So yeah, well done to them. I mean, just, just read this. I'm also gonna leave this in the comments. It's just too good. Solar eclipse spiritual meaning. What energies will the solar eclipse attract and how to take advantage of them? <laughs> I mean, if you, I'm not going to go further. Um, yeah, you're not going to get any advantages, uh, not any energies. So don't believe in that, please. Okay, uh, on to the next thing. Um, well, in South Africa, we've got massive storms in the Western Cape. Uh, trucks getting thrown off bridges, houses, roofs getting destroyed. So yeah, I hope all of them are safe. Um, Yeah, on to the war. Oh, there's progress reported in Gaza. Ceasefire talks as Israel withdraws from Khan Yonis. Okay, which means what exactly? Okay, they say what may come next in the talks. The official confirmed the continuation of efforts to reach a truce agreement in Gaza. Well, that would be great. I mean, no one needs war. Hey, that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I hope they can sort that out. Um, over to business news. So Charles Swap was named the best investing platform overall by US News. They received the award for best uh, investing platform for the second year in a row. So I guess good for them um, they say they got the best investing platform for option trading and best investing platform for forex trading so I mean I'm not affiliated um, and please don't be like me and go download the app and just randomly invest your money into Apple because I lost a few few dollars like that so don't do that uh, on to Bitcoin prices Bitcoin is at $72,113 and Ethereum prices, uh, it's 
$3,636.59. So, yeah, once again, I have no idea about investing. So if you are into that, you know if that's good or bad. But that Bitcoin price seems quite high. So I know that at a stage someone bought like a pizza for 10,000 Bitcoin. So it feels bad. Okay, on to sport news. Okay, first in sport news, we've got the football or soccer or whatever you guys call it, where you're from. So yesterday, Tottenham won 3-1 against Nottingham. Uh, Sheffield United and Chelsea draw two each. And Man U and Liverpool two each. And Everton have been given an additional two-point deduction for a breach of the Premier League's rules. Now, I'm going to leave this because I don't really watch soccer, so I'm going to leave it down below. But why just, just why Everton come on two points that can cause some trouble eh? uh, on to our F1 so you know I'm a massive Flannan Norris fan as you can see which side is it? that side uh, they, they're supposed to have him so I was happy for my boy that came in fifth uh, but also happy for Max that came in first so once again uh, Red Bull 1-2 uh, with Max being first and Sergio Perez coming in second this is the third 1-2 uh, for Red Bull this season and the third win for Max as well. So congrats. Uh, it was a great race. And Daniel Ricciardo said the crash at Suzuka was one of the worst things that could happen to him. So yeah, I feel for him. But I mean, that's a first lap incident. So sorry about that, Daniel. And yeah, guys, let me know what else I need to cover in this GG Satire News. And thank you for watching.